Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to today's video. This is a very, very quick one. I just want to do a point of view plant chores test, whatever you want to call it. I don't have a mic plugged in. I can do that. Maybe I might switch that over in a second. I don't have a lot of battery on this GoPro. So we're just going to be doing some testing today just to see if you like what I'm doing. You like the angles, the footage turns out okay. It's not a jittery mess, all of the things. So if you'd like to see what that looks like then keep on watching but it's nothing flash just so you know it's pretty bare bones this right i'm gonna start by showing you hopefully you can see it i don't know my preview on my phone is not updating but hopefully you can see the wall now i've mentioned this before in i don't know about video two weeks ago so i'm craning my head hopefully you can see the top of the wall there uh, the wall has not done well. Basically, something that ran the pump completely malfunctioned. Obviously, all of this is looking good on the floor, but everything else is looking pretty bad. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've lost so much. I've lost all my melanocrysum off this side. I've lost the Dubai off this side. There are a lot of things that are growing from the bottom that look fine, i.e. this Monstera just kind of... It's really hard to explain, but this one, you know, kind of goes all the way up here. That sort of stayed alive. Anything that's grown from the bottom has been better because it's where most of the water would be. But everything else has not done so well whatsoever. So I thought I'd start this uh, mess of a video by showing you that it has not gone well. I've spoken about this wall a few times now. <sighs> I'm going to do a bit of a clean up on it at some point and just see how gappy it is. And I might slowly start removing things from the wall. I'm not really sure. It's tough. It, so much of it is dead. Can you see? Hopefully you can. Just how many spots are just literally just blank on the wall. It's such a shame. It's such a shame. But yeah, that's the state of it. That's when I said the other day on a report, hey, the wall's like really bad, guys. This is what I meant. It's a shame because at the top, which I hope you can see, the crane, my head right back. Can you see that there? Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to just look on the monitor on my phone to see if it looks all right. So that's what the top of the wall looks like. It ain't good, guys. It just ain't good at all. So that's him anyway. But that is not what today's video is about. This is just a bit of a test run. So I'll just pan you around my shop. That's just chaos over there. That's where the forklift is. There's lecker. There's just bits that have just sort of been left to die over there. That's great. That's what we love. Hang on, I've got a monitor just on this chair on my phone like this so I can see what I'm actually looking at. Can you see that? So I'm just trying to see what you guys can see while I show you around. Right, so yes, these um, trays are essentially from the last sale that I've done. Obviously, again, that's the wall in case you actually missed it. Uh, over there, just death, just general death, death and lecker, um, some death here as well, actually, plus some general plant supplies, loads of pots, ridiculous amounts of pots there. Um, over here, we have the aftermath of some shipping. That's how that kind of goes. There are plants in the corner over there. Can you see my hand? Yes, there are plants in the corner there. Sorry, I'm on a delay on this monitor. It's really annoying. I'll get the hang of it the more we film, I think. This is chaos corner up here you can probably see how overgrown etc it is so um, yes yeah, so those are shipping boxes that's my shit here from filming if i take you this way you will see where i have been filming and that's what it looks like essentially i stand in the middle of those two um, my camera is still on there so we need to take that off i've just filmed my plant haul that you may or may not have seen so there's some plants there that we have to put away that is my wall that's trying to come on that won't because it needs filled up. So I'm going to put that away. Um, I might move these boxes and just sort of teeter around the shop. But if I just take you on a little guided tour of the shop so you can see, that is what we've got going on this aisle. And you see everything's looking, it's looking pretty overgrown if I'm honest. But, oh, Literally, I've got some more of these in for you guys. Here's some behind the scenes for you that you would not normally see. I've got a few more of the lovely blue uh, Microsorum Thailandicum ferns. They are just incredible. So I have some of them. I have some more of the spathophyllum for you as well because both of these plants have gone down a absolute treat. So I'm really, really happy about these. What else have we got? Just a bunch of stuff everywhere, really. It is sort of here, there and everywhere, as you might imagine. I mean, this, this aisle here is just... Oh, that's just not funny, is it? That's just not funny, the amount of overgrowth. I've got some stuff. I've got stuff everywhere. Obviously, studio is up there if you want to orientate yourself with plants. I don't know if you can tell. But they are literally growing up the side of the studio, so that's fun. 
So what else do we have? Just just a bunch of stuff in each aisle. Nothing insanely special. But yeah, at the minute my preview is making all these plants look very yellowy. Um, it's not that bad, but they are a little bit on the yellow side. But no doubt I can touch it up in post-production. So yeah, this is my Spiritus Sancti that is still here from the other day, as it happens. There he is. If you want a little bit of a size comparison, that's him right there. So I'm going to put this phone down. And I'm going to hope to God you can see everything, because this is what I would have been looking at the whole time on the phone there. Um, but we're going to put this away. So I'm going to turn the lights off, because the lights are still on. Bosh. Uh, are these still on? Yes. Turn this one off as well. Bosh. And this one here. Hello. Thank you, Bosh. We'll unplug these. I know, guys, great work. Really um, riveting stuff. But welcome to my actual life. Some plant debris down there. My amazing wellies that I've just bought because it's snowing outside. So put that back there. That's fine. Right. I'm going to move these over to that corner over there. Because that's where I tend to keep the gear just out of the way of everything. I tie that up like you do. Oh, God. And then I'm deep breathing. I don't know why. Oh, I need to breathe more. And we'll tie this up as well. I really hope that the audio isn't too horrific, by the way. If it is, but you like the way that this video sort of is running, minus the sound, let me know, because the sound, guys, that is actually an issue I can fix. And I would have fixed it today. I have an external microphone that I could have used, but I didn't have the SD card for it. So if it is something you'd like me to fix, let me know and I will absolutely fix that for you. So I pop that over here. That's the other soft box. That's some, well, not dead plants, but that's my giganteum that's sort of growing back. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh, bless it. So obviously all my wall plants are still there looking good, but we need to take this camera off here. So let's just flip that back out turn this off here like that take this plate off there we go and then take this pin out i will try as well over filming finding the best angle for you let me just see if you can actually see anything i'm doing no you can't that's very annoying so if i want you to see anything does it have to be out yeah sort of it's a bit annoying isn't it all right so i'm just taking the pin out of this like that. I'm going to keep this. Mm, hang on, let me put that back down where all my camera gear is. I'm going to push that in like that. I'm going to put the plate back on here because I need it to attach anything to. Just secure that on like that. Then going to get a load of this. I'm going to tie it just to keep shit out of the way and then we're going to take it over here. Need to get a new one of these. I need to get one for my house as well. So I've got nothing to film with in the house yet. Which is why you haven't seen a video in the house yet. Right. We're now kind of getting there. Okay. Let me actually... Hee <laughs> hee, there you are. Where are you at? Can you see me? There you are. It's like kind of GoPro inception, isn't it? Right, this is all my shit here. This, by the way, and I realise this is not plants, but I have to show you about this amazing jacket and I do swear by it. It's essentially a body warmer and you press this button here and it heats up and it runs off a little power pack that's, you can't see it there, but it's in this little pocket and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. So I love that. Let me put that up there. And, oh God, I'm going to actually put this away because this is kind of a bit ridiculous right now. Just more GoPro batteries. Because if you know anything about GoPros, guys, you will know that they die instantly, literally instantly. And I have a whole plethora of GoPro crap here that you might be able to see. So I need that. That's a spare battery. So keep that out. I don't even know what that is, but that can live in there. Just a whole lot of shit, really. Oh, they are not GoPro. That's my microphones for my actual camera. So they need to go back in the camera bag. 
The camera needs to go on the camera bag. Sorry guys, this is just housekeeping, but please do remember this video is just for testing. I feel like what we need to do, I feel like whenever I reach down, you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just moving this GoPro slightly down like that, because that might be better. I don't know. It's just kind of the angle on it. You need to stretch out a bit more. I've always wanted, by the way, if you're wondering how the idea for this video came to me, it's come to me from two different places. So the first place it came from was, I think I just had to go upstairs, basically up there to turn off the big heaters, the big heater that is in that corner there. Basically, if I tilt my head back, that corner there. Um, because we were malfunctioning the other day on the video. So I went upstairs to turn that off and I was still kind of talking to you guys. And as I went up the steps, I was thinking, oh, this would be really good in, you know, point of view sort of stuff. So that was one idea I had for this video. The second idea I had for this video was I've been watching a lot of <laughs> um, equestrian videos lately and it's all, um, it's hacking out. POV, so point of view hacking, so everyone's sort of hacking out with GoPros on, and I've been absolutely loving these videos, guys, like literally obsessed with them, so it's just something I really wanted to try, and I thought, hey, no one's really done that, but for plants? So I thought, why not? Right, we can put that back in there, can't we? Because we don't need this, because I have some things to do after we finish here today. Yes, I do use my bags all the time. And I don't even take the labels off. I just end up leaving the labels on. But hey-ho, GoPro can probably go in there like that. Because we're only going to burn one battery today. And I have to tell you, if this suddenly goes off, it's just because my battery's gone down and that is life. So please don't be offended if the video cuts out and I have to end it with a bit of text or something like that. Um, it is what it is, guys. Right. Okay. Put that there. There we go. These are, if you're wondering, just some boxes from the shipment I got in a couple of days ago, which I have since hauled from. So, right, okay. So I'm still trying to reposition this camera before we do planty stuff. I'll probably have to take this phone with me to make sure I can do it. So, what have we got to do? See how we go. Because sometimes you want to see more things and sometimes you don't. Um, oh, this is fun. Can you see this here? Yeah. So this is not dead whatsoever. This is basically a Monstera mint that the leaf gave up on it and I'm growing it out from that. So that's what that is right there. It's not a random dead thing. It's fine. So what else have we got? We've got a lot of overgrowth. This isn't really a plant too, by the way, but I guess it's sort of turning into one. Here we have some, I'm surprised they're not dead, but this whole box pretty much, I think is just, uh, is it a medium, medium variegated? Except a lot of it's variegated. Oh, there's a bit of silter pecan up the back wall. That's nice. Uh, I have some micans there. I have my Hoya that clearly need a water. That's not ideal. They're not normally like that. Are they really wrinkly? Oof, they're getting there. They are getting there. So they're not so great. I have a McDowell here that's sort of just being neglected a bit. And then obviously I have a ton of stuff down here. It's kind of mad how much stuff I've got, if I'm honest. Um, this guy, he was going quite well, but long story short, he got sort of squished into this corner and now he's grown all funky. But his variegation is, it's all right. I wouldn't say that was incredible. It's okay. Um, but it's, he's got a leaf under there that's just gone AWOL. But a lot of the stuff here is not looking amazing. It's not looking its best. As I say, this is just, this is just carnage. Absolutely carnage. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on, guys. Oh, I don't know if you've seen this. This, I don't know if anyone remembers this. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, so this is my philodendron luxuriance that I've had for a long, long time. And he just sort of chills like that. He is big. He's, he's not very well. Trust me, he gets neglected. I'm not, not going to lie. But he is very, very big. So he just sits up there. This is my very neglected Monstera as well. So yeah, that's kind of what we've got going on. But what to do, what to do. I might sweep up a little bit because we have some shit over there. I might do a bit of that, actually. So let's pop this down here. And move this bark. 
pick this up off the floor. And sometimes, whenever suppliers put these in the packages, when they give plants, when I'm unwrapping them, I don't always throw things into water straight away. If some plants have come and they're very, very cold, like basically these last ones, I'll take them out and I won't do anything to them. I'll just lay them on this because it keeps them very warm. Now the concrete in here is actually, it's not really that cold to the touch just because of how warm it is in here. But I do tend to do that. I tend to put them on here. So honestly, it's not the worst thing to do. It's not the worst thing to do. Right. I'll pick that up. Uh, put that on here. How are you doing? Are you doing all right? Yeah, you're doing all right. Oh, he's so nice, isn't he? Right. I'm not going to do anything with these. I might move them. I think that's about as much as I'm going to do. This is, if you want to know, these are... What are these? Longolobatum. And they are Gigantium. If you want to know what they are, then that's what they are. I'm going to put them around this corner so that they're just next to these here, like so, because these are the new shipments, so I'll just try and stand them up. Is it going to stand up? Oh, probably not, but probably asking a bit much of them. I have a couple more things to go in there, actually. I have these two boys need to go in like that, so we know where they are, because they will need unpacking very shortly, then the next day or so. It's not going to be today, but they do need doing. I have my handy banana that I will just grab and put him back where he lived before, which is this one with the other bananas. Oh, I'll show you the bananas. Hopefully you can see them. But look, can you see these? How good do they look? If I move back, you should be able to see them. I really hope it's focusing on them or you can even see them in frame. But how nice are they? And then that's the other one there. This is a piece from the Gigantium that snapped. So there's just, oh God, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, look, variegated homolamina. I don't think you can see this one. It's, is that a non-variegated leaf? How dare it? It's sort of reverting, guys, which it wasn't until I repot it. So there's some bad luck. Look at that. Ooh, that's really sexy. Right. Oh, hello. Are you going to be variegation? No, probably not. This is here, by the way. This is just a random uh, colocasia, but it's here because it used to be variegated. That's the only reason I'm sort of looking at I tell you what, you know. don't know if you can see that down there. But I see a little something. Oh my god, I see it down here as well. Ooh, there is variegation in it. It's not there, but it's it's on the way. Ooh, it's on the way. Okay, that's quite exciting. Right, anyway. Um, let's pick these up as well. Hope he doesn't will, you know. I love this guy so much. Let's put him here on his own accord. Just let him be. He can go... He can go here. This guy can go back in his little slot. What else have we got down here? Ah, of course. We have these two boys. Oh. Which need to go back over here. I think I'm going to have to make this video so that it comes out after the haul, guys. Because all of these plants are the plants that I hold. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil the surprise. So I will make sure this video does not come out until after that haul video. Uh, please stay. Please stay. 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 Please, stop, stop, that'll do. What else have we got? Oh, of course, of course. The UPI. Where can we put him? <sighs> Let's just put him here and hopefully he will be fine. And that is him, that is all the stuff. There's some lecker here. Let's pot around a bit. Check that you can actually see stuff. Can you see stuff? Oh wow, look, the preview froze. Wonderful. Is it gonna show me anything? No. So let's just put this over here. Yes, I know guys, this is, it's not ideal. It is a graveyard. I could put that there. And I tend to just keep a pot here because it just enables me to scoop lecker out anyway. Right. Okay. So let's just have a little sweep, like such. Is that still stuck? Oh, it's still stuck, that's wonderful. So, as you might be able to see guys, my preview has stuck. I can't see what I'm looking at. So, sincere apologies. I just don't know what you can see and what you can't. 
Ah, <sighs> so yes, if this video goes well, and don't get me wrong, it might take a couple of attempts, I will try and uh, be one with the tech a little bit. You know, I can try putting the camera on my chest instead of my head, for example, I do have a chest piece. However, I don't know, something just tells me that the chest isn't going to work. Um, whereas it might for someone else doing a different type of video. Um, so yeah, let me know about that. I can still tinker with the angle, providing I can see stuff. I can't now, my preview's gone dead. So that's nice. But I will keep tinkering and let me know. If you think, hey, this video could work, just needs some work, then leave a comment. Just leave a comment on whatever you want. If you hate it, let me know. <laughs> and tell me why you hate it. It might be at least then helpful. But just let me know, guys, honestly. I can smell horse. Definitely, 100% I can smell horse as I'm sweeping up. Right. There's not a lot going on here. Oh, hello. Let's put that down there. Some random, yeah, some random death there. That's clearly just decided it's gonna not be with us anymore. Can I get all of that? Yes. Let's take this over to the Lekker graveyard. Love a bit of Lekker graveyard. Like such. Right. Get the debris out. There we go. Oh, there's nothing in that. Cool. Get the debris out. Lovely. Uh, where have you gone? Where have you gone? There. Okay. Lovely. Put that back uh, there. And there. Okay. And we keep sweeping. So yes, the intent with these videos is to just do a bit of a chit chat, a little bit like a repot with me, or I can chat about other things if you like. It's really up to you, or I can completely and utterly freestyle it, guys. Um, I can have a general theme of the video or something like that, and I can do it a bit more podcast style, perhaps. Again, I will have a better microphone, so please bear with me. I could kind of do that. I might attempt this video again anyway with a better microphone and all the rest, just to make absolutely sure it's not for you guys. Um, I'll probably know, to be honest, when I look at the footage, but I can do a few different things, so don't think this is exactly how it needs to be. Um, it isn't. It can be whatever you want it to be, to be honest. Because this just could be one of these things that people don't like, even though I've been told so many times, hey, you could just do absolutely nothing and we'd watch it. And then I do something that's a bit lower production and then everyone hates it. <laughs> Which, you know, such as YouTube really, isn't it? So let's just get some of this. I'll try and look up every so often so you can actually see things. Because if I am sweeping up, here's a thought for you while you're watching this amalgamation of crap. Um, if I am sweeping up, do you want to see what I'm sweeping? Or would you rather just be able to see the things in the unit. Do you know what I mean? Because that is the question. Because sweeping is nearly always involved in here. I'm sorry to bore everyone, but it is because Lekka gets absolutely everywhere. And it is a little bit of a hazard. I won't lie. It can be. Um, also, if we need a wider angle, I can do a wider angle as well. That's always fun. Right. This is better, isn't it? This is much better. Right. I have so much to do today. I think after this, what am I doing? After this video, I'm, I'm leaving the unit. So I haven't really got any work to do today in here. I, oh, I've got to have a big plan on what to do because there's so much wrong in this unit right now. I need to fix a few things. So I have to come back at some point in the next couple of days. But today I have to do a big food shop because I have nothing in the house and I need to start getting some shopping in for Christmas as it happens because I have my family over but we're going out for food on Christmas Day, but on Boxing Day and Christmas Eve, I just want loads of like, oh, I don't know, like freezer food, party food, cheeses, all of the things, but I didn't really want to do it last minute. I thought that would just suck. So, you know, I didn't want to miss out and not have enough to feed everyone with. So I thought, hey, I'll do the freezer food soon. So I need to do that as well. Then tomorrow, because tomorrow is Sunday, I need to take a lot of stuff to the tip. Just old belongings that I don't want, because obviously as I move into the new house, I've had a lot of stuff sort of stored away. 
and it's been stored away for like what best part of a year now since like January so I've kind of learned to live without a lot of it and it's been really good for me really because I now know what I can just sort of throw away and not care about do you know what I mean or throw away or sell or you know give away charity whatever I want to do with it it's put things into perspective and it's made me realize I can live off kind of not a lot and be very happy doing it now I'm not saying I had a ton of belongings or anything like that because I, I don't but just like a lot of clothes just bits and bobs that I've kept stuff like that like I don't really need them and I would like to buy a lot of new stuff in terms of the house that you know it's nothing like the stuff I've had before and I've kind of got different priorities now as well it's just I'm ready for a bit of a change so I will be taking a few things for rubbish and believe me they are rubbish it's just like a lot of like paperwork some of it and all sorts um, I'll be taking some of that to the tip tomorrow and getting rid of that and getting rid of some boxes because I need to build the office in my house so that I can work in there. My plan is to work and edit in there. I can film in there. I can do makeup videos in there and get this. Wasn't going to tell you guys, but hopefully the camera is still recording. If it is, um, I will let you into something. I'm basically going to start streaming at some point now it won't be plenty stuff so please don't get excited but if you like video games and other such stuff i might just start streaming next year now i'm not going to do it until my setup is done i'm basically going to take my old computer that i uh did all my work on so all my programming work i'm going to blank it off i'm going to reset it i'm going to set it up to be a streaming machine slash rendering machine for my videos and i'm going to utilize it but give me, you know, a bit of time to do that. <laughs> I think I'm going to give the computer to Dad over Christmas so he can do it for me. Not that I can't do it. I just don't really have the time. So I need to get all my old stuff off. That includes, oh my God, loads of stuff that... Oh God, stuff that I've had since like when I worked for my games company on there. Literally, there'll be loads of stuff from that game on there. I need to get rid of that. I just need to clear it out. There'll be all kinds of stuff. So I need to do that, very, very much so. And then uh, I can get free to use my computer. I need to buy two new monitors because I gave my old ones away. Um, I can't really use a computer without two monitors nowadays. It's too difficult for me. It just is. It's hard to explain, but uh, hopefully this doesn't get too annoying to watch here. But if you are a programmer or no one, you'll probably know that they, they need a few screens and I've never really got over that since I've quit my job um so I like to do that oh hello so I get two screens get all that set up get all my lighting done all the things get my green screen back up hello oh look there's the melanol that dropped oh that's so sad I could do a whole video just on this wall you know just on like pulling the shit out of it because there's so much of it look it just keeps coming so yeah, that's kind of what I need to do this weekend. I need to get that room kind of ready to start using because I'd love to film some stuff for you guys. But at present, I kind of can't. I'm very behind. And a lot of that's horse related, I think. Uh, it's one of the big reasons why I'm behind this year with everything. I, I plan to have loads more content out for you guys, but oh, yet again, I don't think it's happening, which is weird, you know, because every single year at Christmas, I don't know if anyone's realized this, but I always say, you know, December's going to be a load of content and it never happens because usually <laughs> something goes wrong. Now, the first couple of years, oh, what a shame. Look at that. It's dead. Oh, what a shame. The first couple of years, it was flu. Last year, it was because I was very upset with the whole uh, horse thing, the Oggy slash Bobby thing. Um, this year... I mean, a lot of it's more of the same, but obviously I've moved house. This place has kind of fallen around the wayside a little bit just due to lack of time, all that sort of stuff. So it's a bit, it's a bit difficult. Let me just start and stop this video real quick. Stop. Wow, it's totally froze. Okay, cool. So I still don't get a preview and I started and stopped it. Great. So I can't even tell what you guys can see. It's not ideal. We'll tilt it up slightly. Hopefully it's fine. Right, I need some schizos. So what was I saying? Yeah, so every year something just happens to me. Something just 
happens to me every single year. And I guess this year, that's what it is. That's just what it is. So I'm going to just take it in my stride. I know you guys are very tolerant of stuff like this anyway. And I'm just going to do what I can, get on track and have a big boom next year and do loads more content. And when I say loads more content, that still counts for the second channel and all of that. None of that's changed, guys. I'm just a bit behind, basically. But I will absolutely be doing it. I've mentioned this before in a video, but I'd love to start doing skincare again. I have not been doing that. And when I say I haven't been doing skincare, I, I really mean it. I've got spots right now. I've got dry skin. I've got blackheads. All the things that, <laughs> yes, I get normally, but I've been able to keep them at bay. I, I have all of the things, guys, to be honest. Hello. Oh, you're stuck to the wall. Great. Maybe you can see this, guys, but there is, <laughs> there is literally a plant growing up the side. I wonder if I can get to you from this side. Look, this is cool, though. Hopefully you can see, I don't know what angle you're going to have to be at to see it. But can you see that up there? Literally. Stuff growing. Hope you can. Right. What is that? Oh my god, it's Celtipicana, but it's just dying. What? Let me save a bit of it. If I drop that into water, it might live. So let's drop it into a bit of water. Uh, water, water, water. Let's put them in with these guys and just see if it lives. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but hey-ho. Right, okay. So, we're nearly done. I'm, I literally am just going around doing a very minimal trim. Nothing important, nothing insane, nothing at all. I think it's time we took that off. Yeah, that's ugly. Take this off as well. So much stuff to do. It's just oh, it's borderline overwhelming, you know. So we can get this here. I've got. It's just hard. It's just hard. There's only one of me. Do you know what I mean? Just hard. Right. Okay. Anything obvious to chop off? Yes. Can I get to this though? Maybe. Maybe not. Hang on. Is that variegation coming through that leaf? Can you see that? Oh, not again. I think it might be. Can't tell it's variegation or it's just silver. Does that look? Mm, it could be. I don't know if you can see that. No, I think it's just silver. It's just acting up. It's just acting up. Honestly, it happens all the time. Yeah, I'm not going to get all those, am I really? I'm not going to get all those. Cut some of this Dorito off. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to see it. Right, anything over there? Not really. It's not a big tidy I'm doing, if you can't already tell. Every so often, if I get a few minutes, pull out some debris. That's bad, we'll leave that. Right. I think that's kind of it, guys, for this video. It's all I really wanted to test. Let me just pull this off my head. Whoa. Hopefully you can see me. I literally don't know what you can see and what you can't see. I had a monitor on for some of that and it it's cut out, literally. I don't know if you can see it. It's cut out. I don't know how long ago that was. It was a long time ago. So I can't see anything anyway. My phone just seems to have malfunctioned. So I hope that that was... <laughs> probably got a big mark on my head. I hope that was all right for you. I will see how it goes. I will tell you what I think of the footage. Um... It's probably not going to be amazing, but let me know what you think. If there's anything you think I could do to improve this, cool. Uh, sound, 100%. I can absolutely mic myself up. Don't even worry about that. Um, what else? Yeah, the position of the head cam or maybe a better way to monitor it because that's a bit of a nightmare, that one. So I will see what I can do. But thank you very much for watching this really random video. Like, I appreciate it's random. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your comments in advance. Please feel free to leave as much as you like. You can walk with me now because you're not on my head. And uh, yeah, that's it. Please say a moment of silence and prayer for my wall because it's not good. It's bad. It's really, really bad. I need to fill that, actually. And uh, yeah, I will love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this, given everything. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.